Hey Rack and Beer viewers, welcome to another beer review. Uh, this one's going to be another one in my series of <laughs> kind of weird experimental beers. That's what I like to I like to review because they give really cool ideas for home brewing. So when I saw this beer, I absolutely had to get it for that exact purpose. This is the Wild Beer Company Sleeping Lemons. Oh, did you see it? Yeah, you saw it. So this is uh, a Goza style beer, so a salted, um, semi-sour beer, slightly sour beer, and uh, this is made with preserved lemons. So if you don't know what preserved lemons are, they're like, um, yeah, well, they're lemons, and you put them in a jar with a like a shit ton of salt, and then yeah, you. They get preserved, but they get sweet instead of sour. I really like them. And I think that this is just an awesome thing to do a Goza on because it's kind of, you've got the salt in there, you've got this kind of sourness in there already. So it's a really cool, um, I don't know, concept? Yeah, concept for a, for a beer to do a Goza style with that kind of, um, with preserved lemons. Yeah. So, I've got high hopes for this one. Oh man, that is clear. So, Goza is a beer style that I really like. Um, it got really popular like a year or two years ago to make them. It even says on the bottle that they become popular again. Um, so, and I've tried a lot of different Gozas and um, I have like a really particular kind that I like. Um, yeah, dang, look how, look how clear that is. Can you see how clear it is? That is a really nice kind of pale yellow beer with a crazy bit of carbonation in it. Look at that. That is very nice with a nice pillowy head. You can see that the battery is dying, so I'll be right back. All right, battery issue resolved. Check it out. It's only been about oh, it's only been about a minute and the head is kind of already fizzled out so not a huge head retention but usually isn't on like sourish beers whoa oh man oh that smells really nice there's a lot of lemon and there's a lot of um, kind of sharp um, kind of lactic acid uh, from a, yeah, like, you know, sourness from, there's a sour beer sharpness and then there's a kind of lemony sharpness too, like, um, like citrus. It's hard to tell them apart, but it's, it smells very sour, but it also, it's very bright and kind of lemony, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So I was telling you about my type of Goza. Um, I think that my favorite Goza, my like go-to is by Westbrook, which also happens to be the first one I ever had. And it's very, it's got a very nice intense sourness and then the, you know, the salt in the background. This really reminds me of that. It's much more sour than your, uh, you can see. It's um, it's intensely it's intensely sour, you know. A lot of some gozas can be pretty mild, but um, yeah. So it's this definitely has the sourness to it, and the saltiness is just in the background, like this. There's just this kind of vague salinity that gives it this um, oh, it gives it this kind of savory note. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's like, yeah, it tastes, it tastes very preserved lemon-like. I think they really captured it in this beer. Because I'm, I'm, there are preserved lemons in it, but I think that the idea is also to, you know, to make a beer that kind of, um, that kind of reminds you of preserved lemons. And this, this definitely hits that. Oh, it's really good.
There's a small kind of coriander. I'm pretty sure that they put coriander in this one. Um, yeah. It has like a vague spice. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they didn't. Maybe that's just uh maybe that's just a, a trick of the the mind since I'm kind of looking for it. Although it does smell a little bit like coriander, so maybe there is some coriander in there. But it's definitely dominated by the um, by the lemony lemony flavor and the tartness, and then that yeah salinity on the back end. And I really like this beer. I know it's it's part of their um, oh it's part of their uh, uh, it's part of some kind of series they do, which I think it's it's a one off. So I'd um, you know on my scale I'd say I'd recommend it. You know, I would really recommend that you get this, but I have no idea if it still exists anymore. But if you do happen to find Sleeping Lemons, uh, and you like, like, um, low alcohol sour beers, it's only 3.6%, I can really recommend this one. And it gives me, uh, I mean, yeah, Lemon Goza, that, that could be preserved Lemon Goza is a really a winner for me. Um, I mean, I'm a... I love lemon, I love the flavor of it, so it's right up my alley. Cheers, I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this really cool beer. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you, um, yeah, if you can't get this beer, make your own. Make your own preserved lemon beer, and you know, subscribe for more weird beer and all of that kind of stuff. Cheers.